fool. So I'll move on. I want to show you what your great president is doing with a little child, a little kid who wants a lung transplant. Your, your military is under assault by the radicals under Obama, and so is your health care system. Now, all you liberals laughed at us when we right-wingers, we evil right-wingers warned you that there'd be death panels with Obamacare. We warned you that. Now there's a 10-year-old girl, Sarah, who wants a lung transplant in order to live. But Catherine Sebelius, Dr. Strangelove, I call her, said she can't have a lung transplant because it must be offered, such lungs must be offered first to people over the age of 12. Listen to clip one. Ten-year-old Sarah Murnahan wants to be a singer, but she needs a lung transplant to live. Her parents who provided this video have been with her constantly while she waits at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Sarah was born with cystic fibrosis. Organ donation rules require adult lungs to be offered first to people over the age of 12. Sarah's parents say it's not fair. No, it's not fair, but of course, if you want to make an omelet, you've got to break a few eggs. In this case, it's a 10-year-old child because the omelet is called Obamacare. Now, you liberals are all older. Most of you liberals are uh, over 40. You're going to need health care. You're going to face death panels. That's right. The very people you entrusted with your life are going to tell you what Catherine Sebelius said today. We have it at the bottom of clip th three. I can't wait for the whole clip, Neil. It should have been cut out, where she says, I would suggest, sir, that again, this is an incredibly agonizing situation where someone lives and someone dies. Did you hear that? That is your chairman of HHS. She said someone lives and someone dies. In other words, everything we right-wingers warned you about, because we see, see things much clearer than you so-called progressives, is coming to pass. There are death panels. Sibelius concurred. There are death panels. You will face a death panel when you need a lung transplant, a liver transplant, a drug to suppress your immune system so that chemotherapy, chemotherapeutic agents might work to suppress a cancer. You're going to face a death panel, not of doctors, but of government bureaucrats of the type who just harassed reporters, just harassed the uh, conservatives in this country. Listen to what she said today. Play it now. Well, I would suggest, sir, that... Um Again, this is a, a incredibly agonizing situation where someone lives and someone dies. Based on their age. Someone lives and someone dies. You hear that snotty? You hear the snotty feminist, Sibelius, who is now running HHS? She is now the czar of which children live and which children die. Play it again. Play it again so the idiots hear it. Play well, it again. Can't well, play I would it again? suggest, sir, that... Um, Again, this is a, a incredibly agonizing situation where someone lives and someone dies. Based on their age. I just can't stand these arrogant, breezy people in the Obama administration. Everything is a smart answer. Everything is a legalistic answer from these Nazi-like cretins. KSFO, Vince, you're first up on the Savage Nation. Go on. Oh, well, thanks for taking the call. Uh, Michael, I was in the military about 25 years ago, and I was labeled as a troublemaker because when I had to sit through the briefings about affirmative action, which was followed up by equal opportunity, I was confused as hell, and I would ask the question, how can you have, they're just, you can't have one, you can't have both of them together, right? You either have affirmative action or you have equal opportunity. That's right. Yeah, with affirmative action, affirmative action means some animals are more equal than others. That's what affirmative action means. Uh, in other words, if you're not a Christian, heterosexual, white male, uh, you are definitely going to move ahead faster. Okay, but you're saying you were called a troublemaker for daring to question affirmative action in the military 25 years ago? Well, yeah. All right, got it. Well, welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. And it's not the club of growth. It's the club of the Khmer Rouge. If you get a comment on the military assault by Obama's Khmer Rouge, his radical feminist Khmer Rouge, or if you get a comment upon Catherine Sebelius of HHS saying that someone lives and someone dies, the phone number is 855-400-SAVAGE, 
855-407-282. We're open for business. I'll be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. It is the Savage Nation. Today, uh, Obama's Khmer Rouge, his radical feminists, and fellow travelers tried to take over the United States military through the back door by focusing on so-called sexual assaults in the military, which they've created into a false epidemic. This started with the fish, the head of the fish. As you well know, a fish rots from the head down. And the left-wing government that is running this country off the rails, whether you know it or not, you may think you have them on the ropes with the IRS and the, the reporter thing. I told you they had bigger fish to fry. I told you they would do things you wouldn't even believe they would do. You think they've stopped? You think you got Obama on the ropes? You have no idea who you're dealing with. Marx and Lenin would be less to fear than Obama and Axelrod. Karl Marx and Vladimir Lenin would be less to fear than Obama and Axelrod. You have no idea what is going on in your own country. They spend all day on this fraudulent sexual assault business on an, on an epidemic that is made up from the bottom up, a guy could say, honey, you're cute. That's called a sexual assault. A guy could ask a female out. That's considered sexual assault if she wants to bring a man down. I know what's going on. Instead of talking about Major Nadal Hassan, the Muslim fanatic, who killed 13 and wounded 30 or so at Fort Hood, his case has not yet been brought to trial. They've let him delay the trial, one delay after another. Instead of investigating the fiery deaths of 20 Navy SEALs who were sent to their deaths aboard an old helicopter, instead of investigating the penetration of radical Islam into the military, the CIA, the FBI, and DHS, our military chiefs were grilled by a group of Khmer Rouge radical feminists today on so-called sexual assault cases in an attempt to usurp and take the military away from the military. It's beyond comprehension. I've never seen anything like this. And then we have the death panel story. Sibelius says, no, no lungs for the little girl age 10. Some will live and some will die. Play Sibelius if you got that ready to well, go. Well, I would suggest, sir, that... Um, I would suggest, Again, sir. this is a... Yeah, Miss Breezy. ...incredibly agonizing situation where yeah, someone lives really. and someone dies. Based on their age. Where did all these hard women come from? Where did all these mean lack of compassion, miserable human beings come from, whether it's the head of DHS or HHS, where did these miserable, mean, inhuman women come from? Where'd they come from? 